Hey guys, happy Try It Tuesday. So today we're gonna be trying a new sculpting palette from It Cosmetics. It is the You Sculpted palette. I have been eyeing this one for a while and I finally got it. So if you guys are interested in seeing swatches and application of this product, then just keep watching. Here's a little bit of information about this product. This is the You Sculpted. It retails for, has hydrolyzed collagen, hydrating peptides, Perfect lighting technology developed with plastic surgeons and dermatologists clinically tested. Talc-free, paraben-free, and cruelty-free. Apply to bare skin or on top of foundation. Use the How to Contour booklet inside your palette for reference. Universal for all skin tones. And inside it has the shades listed on the side, which is very nice that it shows you exactly what you're getting. <clears throat> Let's wait for the trash truck to pass. Mornings are a noisy time to film. Okay, the coast is clear. So inside the It Sculpted box, you get a fun silver palette like this. It's a cardboard, and on the back, there's a little pouch to hold a little You Sculpted like tutorial or manual to walk you through the steps of how you wanna contour. The basics, tips and tricks, the forehead contour highlights, cheekbones, contouring your nose, which I think is really handy. And since there's a pocket built onto the back, you're never going to lose it. So that is kind of nice. And again, it lists the shades here and shows you the basics of how to contour your face. So inside the palette looks like this. You get a nice mirror and then you get the six shades right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you so you can see what they look like, but you get soft contour, light contour, matte highlight, medium contour, deep contour, and radiant highlight. I've used some of their bronzing powders before and I've absolutely loved them, so I'm hoping that these have the same consistency that of the other one that I tried, which I think was called like Sunlight in a Bronzer or Sunlight in a Compact. It was, it was beautiful. Okay, so let's start off with the top row. I don't wanna mess up the beautiful pans, but here we go. With a very soft, soft contour, light contour. I'm gonna go with the contours right now medium contour and deep contour. So let's see what these look like. We have soft contour, light contour, medium, and deep. The formula is exactly what I remember. Very creamy, very soft. This is definitely a good contour for me. This might be a good bronzer, but it's a little bit on the peachy side for me. So I don't know if I'll ever use these for anything other than shadows, but let's give those a try. And then for the highlight, we have matte highlight and radiance highlight. That one just has like a hint of shimmer to it. All right. So I'm going to start off with a little of the matte highlight under my eyes. I'm going to use my fluffy powder brush. This is the Wet n Wild. It's from the Pro Brush Set. Just kind of lighten things up under my eyes. Here. It feels a lot like their illuminating powders. Yeah, it's very illuminating. Can you kind of see the sheen? that I'm getting on the skin right now. Okay, so that has highlighted under my eyes a bit. My under eye setting powder was a bit too dark today, so it needed some lightening. Next, I'm gonna go in with another Wet n Wild brush and I'm going to go into the light contour and see if I can, I might mix light and medium to see if I can kind of bronze up my face a bit. Here we go. Okay, I think that combination is pretty good. Light and medium. They blend out so well. Even if it deposits too much when you first touch your face, it blends easily, so it's not a problem. It's easy to correct. And 
This is the side I usually have problems with products sticking to. So we'll see how this one works. I might have to just bounce it on top because I don't want to rub off the foundation. And I'm going to continue using this fluffy one. I'm going to dip into soft contour and see if I can just get this to work. It's much darker than I expected it to be, actually. And sometimes I'll pinch my brush like this if I want to get like more of a line. It works so much better than switching brushes for me. I know some people use bobby pins, but just pinch it yourself. Okay, so there is that. All right, so I'm gonna grab a Wet n Wild highlight brush. I'm gonna dip into the Radiance highlight. It's very dusty. And I do have a lot of texture on my cheeks. I'm gonna go a little bit higher today than I normally would. focusing on like the upper C. That's nice. It's nice and soft. It's not too intense. I would say that this highlight shade is not suitable for all skin tones. It's very, very light. If you are a deeper skin tone, this is going to look like a streak of white on your face. So just keep that in mind. You may have to blend it in with perhaps a bronzy shade before applying to your face. I'm going to try to do a little nose contouring with this brush since it does have the straight edge. I'm just going to dip into soft contour. Apply ever so gently. And then on the bottom and then with my fluffy brush, I'm just going to use that matte powder to kind of dull it down a bit. And right down the center with the highlight shade. Okay, so I've highlighted the bridge of my nose. I've highlighted my cupid's bow. You can see I went a little dark on the contour here. If you use sparingly, that does a really good job of contouring the nose as well. I know it looks really funny right now. I think I need to pat some powder on top of it to lighten it. But I think this is a really nice palette. I mean, I used all of the shades except for this dark brown one, which I would definitely use in my crease as a shadow. So I think this is quite nice, although this one is a bit on the peachier side. It worked for my skin tone, so I'm not complaining. I think these are, are beautiful formula, soft and creamy. I would definitely recommend this one, especially if you're looking for a good highlight, highlight, especially if you're looking for a good contour and bronze palette. This is excellent. I really enjoy It Cosmetic skin products. So for me, this is a definite thumbs up. It is a Try It Tuesday win. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below with your favorite sculpting, contouring, bronzing palette. I would love to hear which one is your all-time favorite. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys, so you don't miss out on future videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.